everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again another reaction for you guys. Hey guys, of course, we are continuing the Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. This is season two, episode 16, not 15 like Disney Plus is saying, episode 16, Assault on 42. Obviously with the whole thing last week about the episode where episode 26 on Disney Plus is actually episode 15 of the show. Everyone was telling about it for weeks, so I've watched that. Behold the Vision episode 14, I jumped to 26, Powerless, which is episode 15, and now we're here with episode 16, Assault on 42. I gotta remember that. So now I see a number, it's actually the number next after that. So it's not 15, it's 16. But anyways, Assault on 42. Saw that title, I'm like, I don't, I'm missing something maybe, or maybe, I, maybe I'm not supposed to know what this is yet until I watch the episode. I'm not really sure. Maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, but it's not connecting my brain like, 42, what? Okay, okay. Regardless, I'm, I'm going to enjoy it because I love this show so much. Like, honestly, every single episode they have delivered so far that I've seen, I've loved in some sort of way. There's been episodes, of course, better than others, but there's not been one episode where I'm like, I'm bored. Like, I've really enjoyed every single episode that there's always something unique and creative going on. Of course, now we are heavily into the post-Secret Invasion uh, situation. Secret Invasion situation. <laughs> it's so silly, but we're now into this thing to where we're seeing the aftermath of an invasion where things have drastically changed. And, of course, Cap is not trusted. And um, we had Spider-Man show up. We had, in the last episode, I thought it was really interesting, we had Loki pop back up where he was in that destroyer or whatever um, armor, and we had Thor, Cap, and Tony become powerless. It was a really interesting concept. And then Thor was able to overcome it, and then they all were able to turn back and take out Loki, no problem, in that armor or whatever. And, um, yeah, I, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more with that, but I still enjoyed the episode in terms of, like, I thought they would get to the mansion and shit was going to go down to the mansion. Like, I thought just more things were going to happen besides. They're just stuck in the trains again, just like a couple episodes ago with uh, Spider-Man. But anyways, so, yeah, let's get into now, guys. I'm excited to get into the next episode, Assault on 42. Let's get into now, guys, and see what episode 16 is all about. Let's go. And not just any prison. You've got your own private cell waiting for you in 42. Jan, you okay. should necessary to tease the prisoner like that. Pretty much. Oh, wow. Uh, Somebody forget to oh. Why is it doing that? Coming. coming. Who's coming? Instead of talking the control room, I don't scare the prisoners. When you put it that way, you're starting to scare me. A little. Fire isn't gonna go off. It just Amazing. did. Completely. This is not good. So a son on forty two. Son on forty two. Something bad's gonna happen here. Whatever caused this was digging its way in, not out. Yeah. If something came in this way, we would see it. Alien. Oh shit. Searching for a way out, perhaps. So much for the negative zone being devoid of all life. Yeah. Where'd they come from? That's what I want to know. Oh boy. Okay. It's more than an assault. <laughs> You're not gonna like this. What's the situation? I don't know why it keeps doing that, guys. I apologize. A whole lot of some things. Thor, Carol, you big blonde bug zappers. Let's not celebrate too soon. I have a feeling this isn't over yet. Agent Quartermain, we will we'll destroy the gateway before we let that happen. Won't that sort of trap us here, like forever? Yes, it would. The last resort. It's true. We fought on opposite sides in the past. And each one of you is in this prison for a reason. Mm -hmm. But these insects, whatever they are, they're marshalling to attack in force. That's not smart. I mean, I mean, I understand why they're doing this, but I mean, this is not going to go well. Your enchantress has fallen into the hands of the fire demon Surtur. Yep. I can ensure that you get a chance to see her freed, but you must fight honorably in this battle. This is our Alamo. We make our hmm. final stand right here. Not going to be good. As a last resort... Hit the self-destruct sequence and blow the gateway. Any questions? 
But what are they waiting for? See, he, he's hearing something. Yep. Throw that shield, boy. Dang. They're pretty easy to take out, but there's a lot of them. What the fuck? Unfortunately, he can't use lightning, or else he would. I I'm guessing those people die? Did we lose some characters? Okay. Okay. Interesting. I was like, that looks a little familiar. I'm not 100% sure. Until the gateway opens. Oh. Take me to the gateway. Good idea. This is stupid. This is stupid. I knew it. There's something's going to happen, man. And non-Avengers. <laughs> I guess they're all Avengers right now. Holy shit. There's a lot of them. My god. So we actually lost some some characters actually died? I think. Not like anything I've ever encountered. Like it was a manifestation of the negative zone itself. It could feel our universe encroaching on its. <laughs> yeah, they're like, what? And that's it. There you have it, guys. Wow. Okay, Assault on 42. We're not kidding with the Assault on 42, like the naming of it, because it literally was a gigantic assault on the prison. I should have remembered it. If that was the negative zone prison. I should have remembered, but I just, it just didn't click. It just didn't click, but it made total sense once, like previously on Avengers. Um, Annihilus. Interesting. Like, I saw the look of the character, and, I, and my first thought was, like, holy fuck. Like, who, who, who is this? And then as he said the name, I'm like, Oh, it, it started clicking. I'm like, okay, that, ah, okay, this makes sense. This makes sense. But it was really, really cool because they've been talking about for a while saying, is Annihilus going to show up in the MCU? I think now with Fantastic Four coming, Annihilus is going to be coming at some point to the MCU. I'm assuming an Avengers level event. Uh, we'll see about that. But Annihilus, really cool, really cool how they handled all that because it was really, it was really crazy. Like to the point where like we have to ask the people to help us. Like we have to ask all of these villains, maybe we've been prisoned in 42 to help because if not, what the blow, what, what the blow up the, um, the connection from earth to this uh, prison, like, you know, we'll have to basically shut it off and we'll be stuck out here forever. <laughs> like it was that desperate. It was that bad. Um, so yeah, I was looking at Annihilus and introduced in Fantastic Four annual number six, the characters introduced. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the look of the character here in this image is, like, pretty crazy. Probably hard to tell there, but, uh, yeah, it's definitely hard to see there. But, uh, yeah, it's <laughs> pretty interesting. The bugs, I like how they were using leader to, um, and before I get to this, actually, apologies for whatever's happening, because I wasn't touching anything, and then, like, all of a sudden, the stuff would be popping in, like, the, the name and the time on how much episodes are raining. That was getting a little annoying. I don't know what the fuck that was, was but I, I apologize to people that were seeing that. If you, I mean, you definitely saw that if you're watching on Patreon, but if you're watching on YouTube, maybe I was able to cut around it a little bit, but apologies. I don't know why it was happening. I really got, started getting frustrated. But anyways, moving on. So I like the fact that the leader was being used as a way of like he's hearing something and he's like oh and he's like in pain i'm like okay 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 and then they were referencing how okay these prisoners have been hearing stuff and they've been they've been complaining about it but they have no idea what it is they've had no reason to have outside scanners and so eventually they did and there was something then they go into investigate where there's a huge power surge situation or problem or situation whatever going on 
and they find this pipe that was bitten into him thinking, like, uh, no, nobody can really do that. Maybe the abomination could do that, but it's getting in. It's not going out. So it's not a prisoner. And then this bug shows up, takes the warden. Okay. <laughs> and then, like, it's a smart bug. Well, it was only smart because Annihilus was actually telling it to take the warden. The, the Annihilus just kind of, I guess, knew who was important there. I mean, wouldn't you want to take Cap or Thor? But anyways, okay. <laughs> so um, then more bugs show up. Now, I think what was really interesting is that they were holding off and not revealing what was truly behind all these bugs. And I, the fact is, they're not that strong, but there's so many of them. That's the thing. There's so many of them. Now, I will tell you, after Carol and Thor went out there and was fighting all those bugs, which we didn't see it, we were hearing it, but we saw the massive swarm coming to them as they were going out because the warden was saying, I'm guessing the warden was just taken away. I'm guessing he's just gone now. Because I don't think we saw do we, I don't think we saw him again. I think he's gone. Um, but it's like one of those things to where if you just don't explain it, then the kids won't know it. If the kids are watching, so they won't ask, where did the warden die? I think so. I don't know. <laughs> I think so. Could be wrong. But um, when they were walking through, when the door fell over or whatever, and they were both walking through, um, Carol and uh, Thor... When they were walking through and they didn't say anything, I'm like, is something going on here? Are they under some sort of control or something's going on? I was wrong. I was wrong. But I was just like thinking, interesting. They were like having a they were, they were a serious issue and then they just walk through and they don't say a word. I'm like, maybe something's up with that. Maybe. But yeah. Um, so we got the villains out. They were fighting. I believe we lost some villains. I believe some died in the process here. I mean, one of the AIM guys was taken. I forget his name. He was like a freeze guy. He kind of reminded me of, uh, you know, um, Captain Cold. Um, I think he was taken out. I think someone else was also taken out as well in terms of, like, I think they were killed. I don't know. They're not going to say. But, I mean, we didn't see them again. So I don't know, unless we, if we see them again at a later point, then they will confirm they were just badly injured, they weren't killed. But Annihilus, as Leader was saying, Annihilus was bound and determined to destroy the positive zone. It's, it's the negative zone. Just basically, destroy everything that is not a part of Annihilus's like, world, I guess. Which I guess would be an interesting storyline if they were to do that in the MCU. We'll see about that. Um... But look, the leader is very specific. I like how nice, like annihilation, annihilation, annihilus. <laughs> like, it's like, yeah, annihilation makes sense in terms of what he was explaining. Now, what I think was really good too, because I was sitting there going, this is not going to end well. Like in terms of like the villains getting, uh, helping the heroes, this is not going to work. Okay. But they did. They surprised me a little bit. Leader telling Abomination, take me to the control room. Take me to where um, the... T tell me where, like, the actual place is where you can actually go from here to Earth. Uh, well, what is it called? Um, the doorway, the gateway, whatever. Yeah, the gateway. I was trying to find that word. When he said that, and Bob Nation's like, good idea, and was taking him, I'm like, oh, fuck, they're going to leave. They're going to they're gonna, they're gonna try to get, escape and watch them actually escape. And they surprised me because I'm thinking that's a typical villain thing to do, to leave and not do anything about it and to say, fuck this, they're going to get the hell out of here. He actually went and actually saved everybody. Leader actually was smart and actually used the computer, used that to, to, to create this like sound wave or something to basically disrupt an eyeless. Because even, as I said, even Mjolnir couldn't affect him. Now, I think it was really crappy that Thor couldn't use lightning, but they gave an explanation of why he couldn't. Because if he would have, I think this would have, this situation would have been dealt with a lot quicker. Maybe not so much for the nihilus, because even Mjolnir, he swings it at him, doesn't do anything. So that staff was very important to Nihilus. He was very, that was basically everything to protect him from any attack, which is, and then as soon as he loses it, it's all over. <laughs> he gets destroyed immediately. Um, cool design though. Cool design. And I mean, the, bu the bugs are creepy, but the fact that there's so many is interesting. Now, I don't think Nihilus is dead. Maybe he is dead. Maybe the bugs killed him. Who knows? But uh, they, pretty, they did a pretty good job here in terms of like, we're just taking a typical trip to 42 prison in the negative zone, and we're going to do all this stuff. We're just going to transfer them, and that's it. We've been hearing noises. Bugs! Annihilus! 
it was kind of it was kind of unfortunate that we went to the Baxter building and we didn't see any of the Fantastic Four. I was kind of like, oh shit. Oh, okay. All right. I wonder if that scan, as I was mentioning in the reaction, I wonder if that scan would have detected a scroll. Not saying there's scrolls around. Maybe there are still scrolls around. Maybe. Maybe they're still in hiding. Who knows? They probably are. Would it detect a scroll? I'm assuming it was built just for just scanning in general, but would it detect a scroll? I don't think it would. Maybe. Mm. <laughs> What did you guys think of this episode of Avengers Earth Minus Heroes? It was really good. And uh, I like the fact that, you know, I should have known as soon as I saw him, like, oh, that's Annihilus. I should have figured that out, but it just didn't click. I like how I was still surprised. You know, I, I love the fact that this show can just keep me excited. Because, you know, at a certain point, I could go, well, you know, I've seen a lot of this show and it's great and all, but, you know... It is what it is. I love the fact that I'm still like hyped as fuck and get so excited to watch this show. And it's unfortunate we are down to the last bit of episodes until we're done. That sucks. <laughs> so what did you guys think of this episode of Avengers Earth Minus Heroes? Whatever thoughts you have, let me know in the comments below, guys. Talk to you guys soon.